Hi. This is uh, Reach versus Draco on the game on the map. Luna the final. Protoss versus Protoss, as you can see, and Draco and and Reach obviously are both Protoss players. So sad news today. Draco did not make the OS. Uh, he did not make the Survivor League or the OSL League. He got to the semifinals in each elimination round, but sadly he did not make it into either of them. And lots of people were expecting him, but he was beaten by Go Rush and Pusan. So they're both very good players as well. Go Rush has won the World Cyber Games once. I think he was the first person to win it. Or he was the person after. I'm not sure if it was Ogogo or Go Rush, but I think Go Rush was the first person to win it. So, both players are scouting now. This. Uh, you guys have been wanting me to discuss some strategies. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but. In game, you always have to scout. So, usually on your. Uh, 8th probe, right after you make a pylon, you send a probe to scout your enemy. And once you don't find him, you, you rip, whip around and look for the other, for at the other bases. In this matchup, you usually do a first skate at 11, or I'm not sure if it's 10. And then you do uh, either a second gateway or a cybernetics core. What will happen when you do a cybernetics core is you'll be able to risk you'll be able to get tech much faster and get dragoons, but you will be ri risking uh, defense or, or uh, risking your army because you won't be able to create as many units and your economy will go down a little bit because of the expense. So here's the assimilator. Looks like blue got it a little earlier. Draco got it a little earlier. And Reach is just getting his. Both of them are making Z lot. Right now, uh, Draco is a little ahead in terms of tech. Let me speed this up uh, for 24 seconds, so bear with me. Because uh, it's 10 minutes and 12 seconds or something. So, Scanning Probe got past the Z lot. This one will not be able to get past it, the probe blocking it. So, neither of them have actually made a cyber next score. It's already 24 supply. 22 for reach. Scouting probe did die. This probe was not successful in, being in getting into the base. Cyber next going up for both players. So, in uh, Protoss vs. Protoss, you have two choices. You can go um, Dragoons with Zealots and uh, High Templar. Or you can go, there's a second gateway. Or you can go uh, Reavers. Or you can do a combination of all of them. But the most, uh, it's hard to go for all of them, but it is possible. And if you look, the, uh, never mind, but looks like Draco is attacking Reach. Reach is not going to be able to fend this off. Actually, he might be able to. They're microing it very carefully. If you've seen the uh, worst WCG highlights in my uh, favorites, so look, you pull back the injured unit. So, if you have seen my uh, World Cyber Games highlights that I favorited, then you will see that. Um, that Draco is very efficient in microing his dragoons up enemy ramps. And there goes the first dragoon, it's chasing after the zealots. Um, okay, so it looks like a robotics facility is going up. That means that there will be reavers, most definitely. This dragoon has also arrived, and Reach is going to retreat. As soon as you get your cyber knife core, you're usually supposed to make a uh, singularity charge. But it always depends on you. You, sh you can uh, wait a little bit if you want to. Third gate, fourth gate, we're coming up. As you can see, Reach only has one gateway operational right now. The second gateway is coming up, but at this point, Draco has three gateways operational and fourth one coming up. So when you go for high tech like Reavers, you're risking uh, 
risking a lot. If Draco attacked, he could possibly be able to take out this base. Uh, actually, he he wouldn't be able to take out that base, but he'd be able to take out the entire army of Reach. So when you're going for high tech, it's always a good idea to do this, but you always need some sort of backup defense or so something like that. So maybe a shield battery, I've seen uh, shield batteries at the entrance. Uh, also, something like uh, one cannon at the choke can do a lot, especially against slow moving units such as these. And the goons can't fire that far without singularity charge. So it looks like Draco's coming up and he may be attacking. This probe is going to scout. Four dragoons, uh, four gateways operational, all of them creating dragoons. Yeah, as you see, this um, reach is sort of walling off this area. But he, if, when he sees these units, he will probably most likely retreat back up. So he has an observer already. Shuttle already complete, and his robotics facility is complete, so there's going to be reavers. Reach has retreated to the top. He is walling this off, so uh, Blue cannot get up onto the top. So here comes the attack. Draco is attacking. And Reach is going to try and is going to defend this. If you look here, right after the Dragoon shoot, uh, Draco moves his Dragoons up up the ramp because higher ground has the advantage of getting a hundred percent hits on your enemy, while lower ground you have seventy percent chance of hitting your enemy. So right after your Dragoon shoots, you can move them and then immediately shoot after that. So uh, once again, Reach is walling this area off so that uh, Draco cannot get high ground advantage where they would both be able to do 100% uh, shots on each other. So it looks like the first Reaver is complete. He's getting some Scarabs. More Dragoons being pumped. Still for, uh, uh, there goes the expansion. So look, there's about uh, 8 Dragoons here. More Gateways coming up. As I said, uh, Reach sacrificed getting an expansion as early as Draco has, and Reach also sacrificed the gift of having a very good army. So, I would say if you were on a cliff type map where you start on a cliff, it would be kind of safe to do the high tech. There goes the second Reaper. But if you're on a map like Azalea or um, something like that, you, it'd be a little more risky because you you don't have the high ground advantage and if Reach did not have the high ground advantage Draco would have easily taken out that army so it looks like this attack is being launched observers continually spying these reavers can take out Dragoons in two hits um, and Dragoons also take splash damage not not as much so it looks like these, Dragoo these reavers are being unloaded they're gonna attack one Dragoon is probably going to go down. There goes, okay, one Dragoon is down. Draco is retreating. Um, he knows that these Reavers are going to uh, massacre his units. I do not know how Draco will fare. He's getting cannons, so they're not going to do anything against Reavers. Reavers have a uh, very long range. Okay, so it looks like Draco has decided this is a good time to attack. He's going to try and take out uh, Reaver. It was remarkable very carefully. Got uh, reloaded into the shuttle. Okay, so right now Draco is losing this battle because of these Reavers. These Reavers can take out so many Dragoons. I, I can't even look. Already six kills. So look, Draco has lost his entire army. He's sending some backup, but he is going to lose this expansion no matter what. Even if he still wins this game, which I doubt is going to be possible because that this advance is this advance is coming up the ramp. It's getting 100% shots. Um, these probes are coming up to attack. The game's over in about 20 seconds, so I think that Draco lost. There's about four dragoons to a reaver and a lot of dragoons. What Draco's going to try and do is he, he's going to try and take out that reaver, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it. Reach is focus firing. Focus fire is a very good strategy that you need to use. So it looks like the reaver survived with three HP. One shot. Oh, GG. GG.